I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. A former Palm Coast administrator gets a new job in a new state. John Arking reports. Bo Falgu, the longtime assistant city manager in Palm Coast and one-time chief of staff, has assumed the role of assistant town manager in Mooresville, North Carolina, outside of Charlotte. The selection was announced in a media release Tuesday. With a population of 38,000 residents, Falgu will oversee Mooresville's departments of Parks and Rec, IT, Planning and Development, and Public Library. His starting salary will be $117,500, $1,500 more than he was earning in Palm Coast when he resigned in October. Since then, the 38-year-old Falgu applied to be the city manager in Gainesville, but lost out to former Fort Lauderdale city manager Lee Feldman. Falgu, a Louisiana native, came to Palm Coast in 2007 as a planner, eventually working his way up to assistant city manager in March of 2018. When city council ended the contract to former city manager Jim Landon later that year, Falgu became interim manager. His resignation followed the hiring of Matt Morton to be Palm Coast's next manager. Falgu will assume his new role January 13th. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. The forecast is showing snow, at least if you plan on attending Christmas in Benel tonight. It is a free event to the community. Santa's going to be there. Snow's going to be there. We'll have a petting zoo, games, arts and crafts. It's uh, going to be a very fun night. Benel City Clerk Kristen Bates says the only cost is if you'd like to get some dinner from one of the local food trucks. It's all happening at City Hall from 5 to 8.30 p.m. And then you can keep the holiday festivities going by heading on over to the Starlight Parade in Palm Coast. Brittany McDermott, Palm Coast's Community Recreation Manager, says the holiday tradition kicks off at 7 p.m. Saturday, but the celebration begins as early as 4 o'clock. Santa Claus will definitely be there for pictures, so make sure you have your phones ready. And we'll also have Slavic Baptist Church. Uh, They'll have their choir there singing some holiday tunes. And we'll also have our very own DJ Cedar, who is our Parks and Rec elf, who will be entertaining the crowd with music and games for the kids and just a lot of fun stuff. There will be food vendors. Good stuff to keep you entertained. If you want to get there early and get a spot prior to the parade. More than 80 participants will take part in the parade. We have everything from marching bands to floats to cars decorated. And the route will start on Central Avenue over by the public side. And it comes down and turns down Park Street, goes around City Hall, and then continues up Bulldog Run where it will end. Even Palm Coast firefighters are getting in on the holiday fun. Tony Magoo has the story. The 2019 fire truck Christmas light show video created by the Palm Coast Fire Department has been released. For the second straight year, the fire department has released a holiday entertainment video to help create a larger audience for their general messages of community involvement and fire safety around the holidays. This is one way we can spread the holiday cheer, said the producer of the video, driver engineer Guillermo Arnold. And the Palm Coast Fire Department invites you to take part in the fun. You can view their video on their Facebook page, and don't forget to like and share it with your family and friends. For more information, Contact the Palm Coast Fire Department at 986-2844. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. About what should you be aware of this holiday season? Palm Coast Fire Chief Jerry Forte says everything. Just be cognizant of everything that's around you. If you're out shopping, make sure who might not be around the corner. I mean, put your stuff away, keep your pocketbooks away, and, and, and keeping them safe. Forte said that when you're going to bed at night, check everything twice. The lights are off outside, the candles are out, everything is put down, and don't leave the tree on overnight. Forte also reminds not to use candles on your tree. Make sure that you check your strands of lights so they're safe, and even be careful with LED lights. Forte says keep your tree watered so it doesn't dry out and start a fire. Chief Forte said the Palm Coast Fire Department wants to continue its green wreath program and have no red lights on any of the wreaths at any of their fire stations this holiday season. If you want to listen to the whole interview, download the Flagler Radio app and then go to the Free for All Friday podcast. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.